Here, you can see all the quotes in your system. Specifically, you're able to view the number of quotes, quote type, the date it was created, the customer's name, as well as a contact landline number, state, city and status. To simplify management of the quotes, you are able to search all quotes by selecting either city, created date, labour, make, model, product name, quote type, quote number, rego number, state, status or postcode in the drop down search menu. We've also given the ability for searching via company name as well, allowing you to trace or track progress of a company in the system. Selecting view on a quote will then load a screen that shows the complete quote for the customer or company. On this page you have the options to download as PDF for the ability to email it to another company or send it directly to the customer's email. If needed, there is also the option to print a hard copy of the quote. To create quotes, navigate to Quote Create in the side menu. When creating a quote, you'll be greeted with all the usual information needed to quote and or invoice a customer. Working through the menus on the Create Quotes screen, the first option is to set or adjust the date a quote was created. We then move on to the Quote Type drop-down menu. When this menu is selected, you'll have several options which include Private, Warranty, Insurance and Trade. The form layout is slightly different for Insurance, Warranty compared to Trade Private to aid in faster data input over time. For example, if Private or Trade are selected, the order of sections on the quote will become firstly the Customer Details, then Company Details. If insurance or warranty are selected for quote type, the order will change to company details then customer details. Advancing down the page, all the necessary fields are in place to input a customer's or business's details. These include name, address, phone number, mobile number, email, fax number. After you've completed the customer and company details, the vehicle details are required. This section will begin filtering in the background what labour is available for the selected vehicle. The aim is for the businesses to charge more accurate labour hours and avoid the current close to or the average time to complete strategies. By selecting what type of vehicle the customer has begins this powerful search in the database. As the following fields are entered in, make, model and model year, the resulting labour components will be displayed in the labour section below. There are also fields to supply the chassis number, rego number and VIN number. We then move on to Description. This area is designed for any side notes about the job. This section is for internal business use only. The data entered into this field will not be printed on an invoice. An example is, customer was contacted via phone on the 1st of the 1st 1901 and discuss the following. You'll then come to Labour Details. The information displayed in this section is specific to the information entered into Vehicle Details. This feature allows businesses to create a fine grain control over their pricing structure for labour on a part-by-part -part basis, totally removing the traditional dollar cost averaging or the more common hit or miss pricing structure currently in the industry. In the Part Details section, a user will be able to bring up all the parts that have been loaded into the system from suppliers. They obviously have the ability to adjust the quantity as required. The price for each item is loaded by default from the supplier's price list that was imported into the system. These prices can be overwritten in the system on a quote-by-quote -quote basis. Saving a quote with an updated part price will not overwrite the price recorded in the database. It will only be available at the given price for that quote only. The next two sections, Miscellaneous Labour and Miscellaneous Parts. This allows the user to add items and or labour that are either not used often or the price fluctuates constantly. An example of this is a postage cost from a courier company. You may not specifically want a freight labour component or similar in the system as a labour item. So the Miscellaneous Labour component of freight is fantastic in this example as the price can fluctuate on a case-by-case -case basis. The final section on the quoting page is the sundries and the pre and post repair images. The sundries section is broken up into workshop sundries, transport, decals and environmental protection allowance. We've specifically designed the system to allow images to be attached to a job for insurance and warranty claims. Of course, the ability to upload photos isn't limited to just those two forms. They're also available on private and trade to track a customer's van upgrades, repairs and modifications.
At the base of the page, there are options for including excluding GST, send email notifications, submit save as draft, reset and cancel. The including excluding GST option allows a user to toggle the GST component on a quote. This becomes especially useful when switching between insurance and private quotes on a daily basis. The option to send email notifications. This is to keep the customer aware of the quote process if email address is supplied. Once the user has completed the quote and wishes to save all changes, they can click Submit. This process will then save the quote and take you back to the list of quotes. If you need to update a quote's details or change its status, select the Edit Quote icon. From here, you'll be able to edit or use the full functions of the quote template. However, to minimize errors in amending a quote, the customer or company details are locked. If this is the section required for editing, select the small blue edit button in Customer Details. This will then unlock the form, allowing you to make changes. Once complete, clicking Submit at the bottom of the form will save and update all changes.